This is a quick tutorial on how to use the joints in the new CD Joints and Skin plugin. Um, to create joints, you select the Joint tool and then just click and drag in the viewport where you want to place the joints. And when you get to the end, hit the Escape key, which allows you to start a new chain. Uh, if you want to branch off from one of the joints you've already placed, just select that joint, go into the Joint tool, and start clicking from there, and it'll branch off. Um, the Joint tool has a couple of modifier keys. Uh, if you place a joint and then hold the Shift key down, the next joint you place will be constrained to every 45 degree angle according to what view you're in. Uh, once you place a second joint, hold the shift key down and every joint you place from then on will be perfectly aligned to that first one you've placed. That way you can create a perfect straight joint chain. Uh, if you uh, hold the control key down, it will split a joint. So you select the joint you want to split into the joint tool, hold the control key down and click, and it splits the joint. Uh, if you wanted to wanted that joint to be split exactly on the Z axis of this joint here, then hold the control key down and the shift key down, click, and now the new joint is constrained to the z-axis of that existing joint. Um, I want to talk about joint orientation. Um, when you use the joint tool to create the joints, the joints are automatically oriented so that their z-axis points to the next joint down in the chain. Um, but uh, suppose you create a leg chain and now you want to position that leg chain to the character so you end up moving the joints like this. Okay, now you have your joint chain into position but the joints are still oriented in the original direction. You can see that the z-axis here is not pointing to the next joint down in the chain. Same with this one. Um, to orient the joints, use the orient tool here. Just select the joint chain, hit orient. Now all the joints are oriented. Uh, one uh, other thing about orient joints is before the joints were oriented, you see that this joint here had the z, uh, the x-axis pointing in that direction, but this one had it pointing in the opposite direction. So when you use the orient tool, it not only orients the joints, but it lines the axes. So now both of these joints have their x-axis in the same direction which sets the joints up ready for the IK. Uh, once you've created a joint chain for one side, uh, you can uh, use the mirror tool to mirror that over to the other side. So we'll select the chain you want to mirror, open up the mirror tool. Um, you have some options here. Mirror direction, you pick the axis you want to mirror across and you select whether it's global or local. Local would mean it uh, if the joint chain you want to mirror has a parent object and you want to mirror it according to that parent object's uh, axis you would select local. Uh, for this one here it has no parent so we'll select global uh, we're going to rename the joints by replacing the prefix. So we'll replace L with R and hit mirror. There.
there we go. And there we have our joint chain mirrored. Um, if, if this uh, joint chain here had a parent object, let's, let's create another joint here. Say we had a pelvis joint and a stomach joint. And this was a child of that pelvis joint. Okay, now if oops if we if this were moved and rotated and we wanted to mirror this chain we would select local axis change L to R and when we mirror it it mirrors exactly across the parents axis if we were to have picked global, it would mirror across that way. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the attributes manager for the joint. Uh, you have a an object tab here. Here you can turn the connection to parent on and off. This is just a visual indicator uh, because even if you turn it off you can see it's still connected here um, you can change the radius of the individual joints and each joint has its own orient joint button here which will just orient the individual joint um, in the joint transformation tab this is the same as the coordinates tab uh, but in the joint transformation here you can zero out the readouts uh, this is really handy for creating uh, expressions based on the joints rotation you have a good zero starting point for your expression here um, envelope each joint uh, has its own envelope you can uh, show the envelope and and you can adjust it simply by grabbing and dragging the handles out um, you can also show the envelope as a proxy so now you have a a proxy around the joint this uh, proxy also takes on the color that you assign to the joint so so that way you can uh, if you're going to animate with proxies first uh, uh, you can distinguish between the joints here with the colors 